Well, welcome to the first day of the multi-block. This is our premier event, uh, the longest, uh, also the longest event uh, of the uh, of the season. The event lasts five days, and each uh, the teams have nine blocks of ice that they carve with, and collectively the blocks weigh 3,600 pounds. That's a Thir lot. No, 36,000. 36,000. Oh 36, my gosh. 36,000 pounds of ice. In fact, my we bad. had one That's foreign. Smart. We had one foreign team show up here, uh, expecting the little 200-pound blocks uh, oh, wow. that they're used to in other competitions, and were completely floored by a, uh, a, a, a ba nine blocks that are 4,500 pounds each. So uh, this is a this is a real eye opener for newcomers, yeah. uh, which we have a, a, a couple of those, but a lot of these teams come back year after year, um, and uh, we'll uh, tell you who those are as we go around. All right. Are you ready to start? I'm so ready. All right, let's, let's go going. do it. Well, I believe this is site one. Okay, I'll show you. See, full of number right here. Would that be it? Possibly, yes. Do they have a site number that we can go off of? Um, I don't see one. This multi-block multi site, site four. four. Okay. We'll have to uh, get a little used to the layout here. Um, the teams move around when they're picking their their uh, location, and uh, so they may not be in order. But as we have learned from the comments, that uh, the site numbers are not as important as just who's occupying the site. They're only important to me reading because then I know what site it is. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah. But we'll get that. We'll get we, that. You know, we got five days to do to uh, get all these people straight. Boy, this looks uh, almost looks dangerous, doesn't it? It this, does. These big, huge blocks uh, way up in the air. So this first day, we will uh, just uh, look over the shoulder of the uh, artists as they're working and uh, just give you a uh, close-up view of uh, what's going on at each of the sites.
So it looks like the are the teams that have carved their uh, double block, two block piece. Are they in the same area, or is it different? Well, in teams? some cases, they are. Well, this looks like a different team. But, but yeah, but apparently not in this case. The lighting is sure better over here. It is. <laughs> it's going to be interesting uh, to see how these uh, these pieces, the way they're they're uh, going about putting the blocks together now. It, we have drawings that were submitted that show what their finished piece is, but we're not going to reveal those. We're going to let our audience watch these things uh, take shape. I'll make sure to mention their, the name of their piece. Their You've got the whole family there. here. Again. Again. Yeah. <laughs> I'm surprised was, they want to come back. What's that? Surprised they want to come back. Yeah. I know. <laughs> it's brutal. Especially, here. especially when the uh, the last one, you know, we had the negative 30 degrees. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So. Yeah. So. Uh, yeah, I was by a little earlier shooting the pre-roll which people yeah. have already seen, but uh, I just kind of flew by. Uh-huh. Yeah. You so do have a nice corner back here, don't you? We do. Yeah, yeah. It ended up being a really nice corner, and some of the other volunteers are like, you can put your piece wherever you want. You got all this. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> That's really yeah, nice. You can get really creative back here. Yeah, I know, right? I was like, man, maybe one day we're going to have a really long piece go along the fence. <laughs> So, All right. but uh, we're going to do something similar like we did a couple years ago where we have a centerpiece and then we have things going on around the outside uh -huh. um, trying to invite people to come in and experience the oh, piece can they actually and things walk like that. Walk yeah, the yeah. I that. Yes. So, I mean, really, I mean, these outside pieces right here, I mean, this is as tall as they are, not too big. We got, um, and then we're going to have... Uh, an eight foot piece right there in the center. Very cool. Yeah, nice. so. Yeah. Walking yeah. pieces are always really popular. People do like to get up close and, and, oh, yeah. and look at things. You know, yeah, it's, you know, it's, it's kind of cool with this event, you know, because it's large sculptures and you create an experience. Yeah. yeah. You know, as much, as much as you can. Yeah, yeah. Cool. So you don't have to rope this one off. <laughs> nice. Yeah. yeah. That's nice. So, but what we're trying to do with this piece, um, to fill you in here, He's over there, he's making some bowls, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna make two Earths, planet Earths, and uh, we're hollowing them out on the inside. And in there is gonna be a collection of symbols. I see. And uh, they're gonna be stacked. And we're gonna put a light on the inside to make them glow. And that's gonna be the centerpiece. And then on the outside here, we're gonna have seven guys in thinking positions in different chairs. And there'll be thought bubbles on each head. And each head is gonna have one of the symbols. And so, uh, yeah, nice. yeah. Well, so it'll be exciting to see it evolve over time. We got yeah. days to get it uh, get it done, huh? Yep, yep. Yeah. So no, this year it's like, all right, we'll keep our build simple. We'll <laughs> just throw some blocks up and start carving day one. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So you know. All right, well, good luck. And we'll, Thank uh, you. We'll be by each uh, each evening just to see watch your progress. Sounds good. Yeah, absolutely. We'll be right. here to fill you guys in too. Thank so you. thank you guys. Yep. Appreciate it. 
Okay, it's a little way to the next one. It's really nice being able to walk through all these. Oh, absolutely. Places. That's so beautiful. And, uh, and they're so well, close I together. You can't really see that, but uh, we're walking through the uh, single and double block. Uh, I love this. This is, this is definitely. Yeah, the colored lights. Oh, yeah. You know, the, the colored lights and the sound, just like we said earlier, chainsaws and chisels. Well, and then it invites the audience, if, you, if anybody wants to come out and look at the sculptures being made, you can see the ones that have already been made. And there's more light out here during construction. If you come out when these are all done, uh, it, it'll be, uh, not only will there be not as much action going on, but a lot of these work lights will be gone. And so it's, it doesn't look quite as festive right now. It looks like a big celebration. Of yeah, fun. Boy, they're making the spheres the hard way. Yeah. All right. All right, well, we'll move on to the Oh, this is, this is a lot of fun to walk through all of this. It is. Yeah. I know. I'm actually really enjoying this. I like this so much better. Me too. Previous so it looks like this, uh, crew has uh, taken a break. Uh, this is the one with uh, Steve Dean in it, I think. Yeah, we're going to give the names later because we're not giving them for today. This is the one that uh, Junichi was going to be in. Yeah, where she's, here's the mermaid that's dropping the pearl, and I think over there's the diver. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, we had one team member have to, had to drop out due to a... Uh, mix up in airfare back to Japan. So uh, they lost the team member, but they filled in the uh, missing team member That's with awesome. uh, people that were ready to go. There you go. Yep, like a bunch of blocks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah, it looks like they have taken a break. I know, I know. I don't know what's going on with it. Yeah, I don't like it. Yeah, got it. Thank you. So, this is the uh, thing with Steve Bryce. And, the cool thing about all of this is that the, every block has to be carefully constructed and considered and any extra has to be... Oh, thank you! I love that! I got hug hugged by an artist. <laughs> that was a sneaky hug. I loved it. But, um, yeah, it's just that the artists have to consider every single block and yeah. every single piece that they don't need, they have to factor that in before making their piece. Yeah, yeah. So we yeah. just saw them haul some stuff off. One of the... Uh, one of the criteria for judging is uh, utilization. Yes. So they have to uh, utilize as much of the ice as they can. And any extra ice that they get rid of at the end, they usually use it for stanchions towards yeah, the end. Yeah. Or make the ground look really cool yeah. on the sculpture. Yeah, the, yeah, that's right. They'll Sometimes they'll crush it and put it on the ground and make it sparkle. But that is definitely one of the categories is uh, use of ice. No idea. All right, well. Someday we'll find out. Not anytime soon, though. So you'll probably recognize some of these people from Double Block. And uh, it'll be interesting to see how the, the dynamics of each team is, uh, is you know, you put together members of a team uh, di different than the, the last one. And uh, the dynamics change, and so the artistic and the creativity changes. And we won't see a whole lot of shape today. No, it's starting to take shape, but it's still in pretty raw form. Well, it takes a while to uh, to just position, let yeah, alone carve 30, absolutely. 36 thousand pounds <laughs> of ice. Absolutely. So here this is, is very. Right, that is, uh, oh, the next site okay. has uh, 
There was somebody here earlier, but it uh, looks like we missed them. And you're right, it takes a little bit to position all of this ice. Yeah. And we, if you, right behind us, we'll see in a little bit, there's a, a rig lifting blocks of ice. So the artists, the first couple of days, have to work with these rigs. And um, the drivers are very skilled in communicating with yeah, the artists. Yeah, yeah, it's they amazing. Have a, they have a, a, a nonverbal language yeah. they, they use that. Uh, um, they actually have a crash course, not a crash course, but they talk about it in the... In the safety briefing. Yes. Yeah. Well, the... Uh, Let's go check this block of ice being lifted up. The, um, the equipment that we use, uh, we, have, we want to give a good sh a shout out to Airport Reynolds, uh, who supplied us with an extra tractor this year. Oh, that's amazing. They came to our rescue when we needed uh, extra lift support. Uh, one of our pieces of equipment um, went down for maintenance. And so, uh, Alaska Airport Reynolds uh, came up with the, uh, with the replacement piece of equipment. And we, we really appreciate their, uh, their donation there. These lift operations are fascinating to watch. It's just amazing how they can lift this up tight, the uh, straps tied together, and they can lift that block without anything going underneath, <laughs> which is kind of scary. Yeah. They do have to be very careful. Well, there, no one is allowed anywhere near the drop zone. If, there, yeah. if anything were to go wrong in the block drop, there can be nobody there. All right. And we're coming up on another site. And of course, the, uh, we're just be, able to see. A lot of empty see. sites tonight. Oh, this is Mario. Ah. Mario and Media. Oh. Working here. Oh, how cool. I haven't seen him in years. I know. That's going to be exciting. I met him in the cafeteria. And it was, oh, how it was fun. Like old Lang Syne. It's really good to see him back again. He hasn't been out for a while. It'll be interesting to see what he does. He is definitely one of the uh, premier uh, artists that uh, come to be here. How fun. All righty, well, um, I don't think there are any other multi-block sites. Oh yeah, I think you're right. So uh, this has been a short um, tour t yeah. tonight because the uh, uh, event is just starting and so things are really in a rough shape. It's really good though to see how this starts out. Absolutely. And uh, because uh, as the week goes by, you're going to see all these pieces start to take shape and it is quite amazing how it goes yes. from something just as rough as a oh, bunch yeah. of uh, rectangular blocks into <laughs> something just that is just astounding yeah and this a lot of this is a lot of work like working with those operators they will getting be those working blocks, so. late into the night yeah um, Boy, the, we thought that the 36 hour stretch with a single block was long. This is going to be brutal. Yeah. So stay tuned as we cover this event each night, uh, streaming from the Tanana State Valley Fairgrounds in Fairbanks, Alaska. 
Uh, this is the Ice Alaska World Ice Art Championships 2019. I'm Steve Iverson. And I'm Elena Petkova. And we'll see you again tomorrow night. All right. See you later. <laughs> Bye.